Why not? I'm not really looking for the summons. I don't care about them, honestly. They do good damage, they do, but... I just was never a fan of using the summons. Do we have to kill him? Just put the Antroid of Death on us. I'm confused now. Oh, I guess this is the first one we actually actually kill. Meteor. No. No, dang it. Sample him. P attack like crazy, aren't you? Default, default, default. Default. This is why I don't like the blood uh, exorcist class too. It, 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 tis, it, it, yeah, oh my gosh, wow, I don't know what happened. Tis seems to not take like nothing, all for these guys. Yeah, he's in that class. And I'm doing like what I would normally do. So, and until another one comes by, he's probably gonna go back to fencing or whatever. He's up here, attack like crazy. He wants to bring it down, I'll bring it right back up. You can now summon Charabid. That was the first one that actually wanted to fight, but the, also that's the first one that was purple. Not the same, uh, like... Was it brown or something like the rest of them? I think that was the first one that was purple. See, I don't even remember. These summon, summon owl fights. I'm just like, I don't care, really. I didn't care much in the first game, too, for them. I'm just, I don't like the summoner class. The summons are cool, but the summoner class is just like, it's not like okay to me. I don't think these requirements are only just level. It might, it, I think they also mean if you have, like, a certain amount of the summons already. So hopefully I'm following on the right path and I didn't miss any. I probably did miss some, though, because some areas I didn't fully explore yet. Like, and I just kind of went through. But, yeah. Like I said, I'm not really trying to get the summons. Main thing I'm getting, blue chest. And, um, maybe, I guess, the... Uh, the side asterisk, because I know they're going to be some sort of, like, slippery asterisk that you need to probably find, or some sort of craziness. Possibly, I don't know. I, I mean, I want to get all the asterisks, that's for sure. All the ones that I can get during my run of the game.
like right now, Alternus's Asterisk looks pretty tempting, especially for Tiz, since I want a new one for him, but depending on how useful the other one might be, I might leave Al Alternus's Asterisk in the dust. As much as I do like the, uh, the Dark Knight. And Tiz would be cool as the Dark Knight. Also, yeah, we might as well just um, drop the uh, uh, the Exorcist because I don't like it. I used a sensor before. We'll stick him back to fencing. And then have his warfare. Oh, is he already well equipped? Yeah. Alright. Who ordered this meeting anyway? And why all the way down here? I hear <laughs> that some hotshot new counselor has been proposing major tax cuts. A new counselor? But who? <laughs> it was I! Oh, hell yes. Alright. Wait, then the alternate goes by. There's no way we're skipping on the time age. Oh my gosh, we're getting the time age for sure. Haste and slowdown. Two of like the most essential like buffing and debuffing skills. That help so, so much to speed things through. Hell yes. Elec Quintus, Kama the Eighth. Deposed king and holder of the Time Mage Asteris. Once he sat on the we throne of Ansheim, but his evil plots on behalf of the Eternian That's forces right on were him. laid bare by Idia and her allies. He prides himself in his precision and his fame as the Timekeeper King. Little realizing on, that the on Idia was meant as an insult. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? As you are I know. I can aware, think of our state has no power. Unable to soar through the skies at will, we resign Maybe? ourselves I don't know. to I want the this timing, so. stationary life. You are also aware that in years past, we harvested the bounty of the oceans and lived in plenty on the riches we found. Now our only exports are trinkets and handicrafts hewn from wood that we collect from the forest nearby. Every day our citizens, tools in hand, bow their heads in industrious toil. But the inescapable fact is, our coffers are empty! We can scarce afford even a fifth of our expenditures! Long have we boasted generous poor laws. But if we do not swallow our pride and abolish them, we shall be ruined within the month! As such, I have further refined my tax reduction proposal from last week. Stop pushing! I have enough copies for everyone! <clears throat> I hereby announce that 30 taxes are to be abolished! These include income tax, property tax, Food tax! Spice tax! Oh! This new policy I don't will care, immediately just give increase me the gross domestic asking. output of the nation! Stop right there! An objection? Yes, what is it? If those taxes are abolished as you propose, what will happen to our nation's poor laws? Who will look after the children? The poor laws? Well, naturally, all unnecessary expenses will be cut, including handouts to orphans and the like. Unnecessary expenses? Indeed. <clears throat> When the nation's coffers are nearly empty, they are a luxury we can ill afford. Are you aware how much one must pay for a single slice of bread on this ship? Well, I... Uh... 7,000 p. Think about that. 
7,000 pig for something that can be had for a pittance anywhere else in the realm. Cheese, ah, 8,000 pig. Oh, a can of mackerel? Well, that'll be 9,000, thank you. And a round of ham will cost you a nice round 10,000 pig. What good do those prices do anyone? They're unreasonable, unsustainable. And they're caused by those bloated poor laws that you refuse to give up. Damn the consequences! The poor laws are this nation's greatest pride. You would say that it is wrong to distribute wealth to those who need it most? No, I would not say it is wrong. Oh, no. How shall I put it? The poor laws are a poison! Yes, a poison that every day saps the strength of this nation! God, a poison? You go too far! I'll hear no more of this fool talk! You are the fool! Your ideals have blinded you, and you refuse to see the truth. So it falls to me to tear away the blindfold, to lay before you the hard, undeniable facts. You there! Explain to the good knight how many days remain before our coffers run dry. Oh, uh, yes, uh, let me see. Um, carry the one and... Uh, well, uh... Oh, too slow! 14 days, 21 hours and 52 minutes! Ah, uh, uh, yes, that's it. <laughs> <clears throat> To rephrase, in just over two weeks, our nation will be bankrupt! What? What? But is there nothing else we can do? Yes, I suppose there is. For example, we could discover a sunken galleon filled to the gunwales with gold, like last month. Or we could beg our neighbors for money, like the month before that! Yeah. I am an expert in taxes. When it comes to tax theory, I am 1,225 years and three months ahead of all of you combined. Uh, you there. You are Idia Lee, yes? Daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia? The Grand Marshal would raise no fool. Surely you see the logic of my position? Well, kind of, but... Tell him, Idia. He would forsake our pride, our honor, our very future just to fill the coffers and for...